While Earth's Himalayas inspire awe, other worlds in our solar system host mountains that dwarf even Everest. These colossal features reveal the dynamic geological processes shaping planets and moons far from our own. Each formation tells a unique story of cosmic forces at work. Let's explore the solar system's most impressive peaks. Keep your curiosity orbiting. Subscribe to Information Thin for regular space explorations. Wait until you witness the sheer scale of the mountain at number three. It redefines giant. Number six, Lunar Peak, Mons Huygens Moon. As the tallest mountain on the moon, Mons Huygens stands approximately 5.5 kilometers, 18,000 feet high. Located in the Montes Apenninus range, it formed billions of years ago from the massive impact that created the Imbrium Basin. Unlike mountains on Earth, lunar peaks are primarily the result of impact events rather than tectonic activity. The mountain's slopes reveal layers of lunar crust, offering valuable insights into the Moon's geological history. Its surface, exposed to relentless solar radiation and micrometeorite impacts, remains unchanged for eons due to the absence of erosion. Astronauts from the Apollo 15 mission explored nearby regions, studying the composition of the lunar highlands. The mountain's name honors Christian Huygens, the Dutch astronomer who discovered Saturn's moon Titan. Despite its height, the peak's gentle slope would make for a manageable climb in the moon's low gravity. Number five, Vestan Summit, Rear Silvia Peak, Vesta. The peak at the center of Vesta's Rear Silvia Crater is one of the tallest known mountains in the solar system, rising about 22 kilometers, 14 miles high. This asteroid-based mountain formed from a catastrophic collision that excavated over 1% of Vesta's volume. The impact exposed deep layers of the protoplanet's mantle, allowing scientists to study the building blocks of planetary formation. Gravitational measurements suggest the mountain's base extends deep into Vesta's crust, supported by the asteroid's relatively rigid structure. NASA's Dawn spacecraft mapped the mountain in detail, revealing landslides along its flanks from subsequent impacts. Number four, Venusian Ridge, Maxwell Montes, Venus. Rising 11 kilometers, 36,000 feet, above Venus's mean surface level, Maxwell Montes is the highest mountain on Venus. This rugged highland region experiences cooler temperatures than the planet's scorching lowlands, though still hot enough to melt lead. Unlike most Venusian features, Maxwell Montes exhibits radar bright properties, suggesting the presence of metallic snow, possibly composed of lead sulfide or bismuth compounds. The mountain's formation likely involved both tectonic compression and volcanic activity, unique in a world without Earth-style plate tectonics. Soviet Venera landers provided early data on Venusian highland geology before succumbing to extreme heat and pressure. The mountain range forms the eastern border of Ishtar Terra, one of Venus's principal highland regions. Number three, volcanic peak, Borsal Montes, Io. Eos Borsal Montes rises approximately 17.5 kilometers, 57,400 feet, above the moon's mean radius, making it one of the tallest mountains known. Unlike volcanic mountains on Earth, Eos peaks are primarily tectonic blocks uplifted by immense compressive forces due to the moon's constant tidal flexing. The mountain's steep slopes result from Eos low surface gravity and brittle silicate crust. Despite being the most volcanically active body in the solar system, Io's mountains are not volcanic constructs, but rather fault block formations exposed to relentless sulfur dioxide frost erosion. The mountain's name derives from Egyptian mythology, where Bosol was a sanctuary of the god Amun. Galileo spacecraft imagery revealed numerous landslides on its slopes, indicating ongoing geological activity. Number two, Saturnian Spire. Iapetus Ridge, the equatorial ridge on Saturn's moon. Iapetus forms a continuous 20 kilometer, 65,000 foot high mountain chain encircling the moon. This bizarre feature gives Iapetus its distinctive walnut-like appearance. Theories about its formation include ancient ring collapse, tectonic compression, or endogenic activity freezing in place. 
the ridge's material appears darker than surrounding areas, suggesting compositional differences possibly related to thermal segregation processes. Its precise origin remains one of the solar system's outstanding mysteries, challenging planetary geologists' understanding of moon formation. Cassini spacecraft observations revealed the ridge's complex structure, with some sections appearing double-crested. The dark material on the ridge is primarily carbonaceous compounds, while brighter water ice dominates elsewhere. Number 1. Plutonian Ice Mound Tenzing Montes Pluto Part of Pluto's heart-shaped Tombaugh Regio, Tenzing Montes rises 6.2 kilometers, 20,000 feet, above the dwarf planet's surface. These mountains are composed primarily of water ice, which behaves like rock at Pluto's cryogenic temperatures. Their sharp ridges and steep slopes suggest relatively recent geological activity, possibly within the last 100 million years. The absence of impact craters on their surfaces supports the theory that Pluto maintains some internal heat source driving glacial flow and mountain formation. These icy peaks challenge our understanding of geological processes in the outer solar system. The mountains are named for Tenzing Norgay, the Nepalese Indian Sherpa who summited Everest with Edmund Hillary.